First Moltisanti just helped SMU pull off the greatest Cinderella national title run of all time, but while it felt great to win a championship this early in his college career, Chris knew that his individual accolades could be a lot better. His coach at SMU hardly allowed him to touch the ball in the red zone, and the play calling killed any chance he had at competing for a Heisman Trophy. Chris ultimately decided he wanted to stay in the ACC, but take his talent somewhere with a better scheme and offensive line that would give him more of a chance to put up numbers. Clemson was in desperate need of a running back one, and Chris decided to fill that spot, landing some huge NIL deals with his transfer decision. As a Tiger, his goals for his junior season are to show that he's an NFL talent, win the Heisman Trophy, and rush for over 2,000 yards. We'll see if Clemson can give him the opportunities to shine that SMU couldn't, as I'll be playing his entire junior season in this video. For the first game of the year, we are taking on LSU. This is going to be a tough one, man. We'll see what Chris can cook up here in this Clemson offense, and he's going to start it out with a beautiful cut. This might be a huge play, and Chris going to take it all the way out to the 46 let's go didn't look like we had a lot but great vision from chris to start us out and i think this clemson offense might just be a good fit for him after all we're setting up a little counter here the holes are way bigger at clemson than they were at smu chris is up over 30 yards rushing already and continuing to cook out of the backfield and his coach actually doesn't take him off the field on the goal line Gets to get a touchdown here but oh man quarterback threw it a little bit early we're not able to get out there we have to settle for a field goal and lsu gets a quick touchdown but Headed into the second quarter, a beautiful hole is going to open up for Chris here. He chunks ahead for a solid gain. Let's go. One thing I like about this playbook too, it has a lot of RPO motion, which should allow Chris the chance to get into space, and he might have a shot to crib it here. This is going to be Chris's first Clemson touchdown, and we are going to take the lead in Death Valley. But man, it looks like this LSU offense is going to be tough. Chris is going to have to keep putting up numbers. We got a third down here, and Chris trying to get open, but can't do it in time. That should have been a pick six for LSU, honestly. Thankfully, defense stands up tall this time. Coach is sticking with the running game. I love the way Chris is being used in this offense, man. Finally, an offensive coordinator who plays to his strengths. We do head into halftime trailing, and LSU gets another touchdown. Got a big third down here, and Chris is able to pick it up. He has continued to just be excellent out of the backfield. Things have slowed down a little bit in terms of the ground game, I will say. And the wear and tear is starting to look kind of tough for our boy, as it looked like the draw on third and six was going to get blown up, but Chris is able to get out of there. This is like the most carries he's ever gotten in a game. He's got like 20. He's definitely not used to taking hits like this. But I love that I don't have to constantly look over my shoulder waiting to get taken off field. Unfortunately, once again, this drive stalls out in the red zone. So headed to the fourth, we trail by five. Defense was able to get great field position and we have to find a way to punch it in on this drive. Chris is up over 100 yards. Hasn't been incredibly efficient, but on third down, he's going to get it out of the backfield. This is the zone play he scored on earlier and this time he'll get it down to the 10. And last year, Chris 100% would have been coming off the field after this play. Instead, he's going to get a chance to run the same play again. And man, the blocking is beautiful. We might be able to cook on that play all season. We were finally able to get the lead, but LSU took it right back. Now it's money drive time and Chris is dog tired. On third and 10, coach is actually going to split him out wide. We'll see if he can cook something up here trying to run an in, but our quarterback just keeps throwing it into traffic. So here we go, man. Fourth and 10 for the game. Chris is open out of the backfield, just has to pick up the first down and he does keeping us alive in this game now we just got to close out this drive 55 seconds left and oh man our quarterback almost throws a pick we can definitely afford to run the ball here but it looks like we're passing and our quarterback's gonna take off i was not expecting him to get out of there but he does that's huge so a chance to run some clock and punch it in chris is getting the handoff up the middle but has no power game still i think we're gonna have to try to pass for it it's third and goal and chris trying to get open he was open in the corner but no time for our quarterback and this is going to be it fourth and goal game on the line and chris is open our quarterback finds another guy open though let's go oh man i'm nervous to sim let's see what happens holy crap we went for two and we got it man chris wasn't on the field clutch dub and chris was player of the game in this one 105 rush yards and two touchdowns he definitely was not amazing on the ground today but absolutely balled out through the air man 130 33 receiving yards. Chris wins ACC Offensive Player of the Week after that performance. He is going to have to spend all of his points on recharging. So we head to game two. This time we're taking on Georgia Southern, hoping this is an opportunity to rack up some big yards. We get a nice little outside zone here, not something that ever got called on SMU, it felt like. And Chris is getting all the carries he can want right now, man. This has been nice for sure. It was fun winning a Natty at SMU, but it seems clear that Clemson is a much better fit for Chris's play style. Clemson's playbook is 
honestly perfect for a running back. And we got a third and goal here, but our quarterback is going to chuck it up to Chris and he's able to get the touchdown catch. Let's go. So 50 yards rushing and a receiving touchdown for Chris in this first half. Keeping it cooking, receiving out of the backfield here. Chris is going to pick up another easy first down. And one thing about Clemson, man, they've got this RPO bubble in their extra plays. This will be a great way to get Chris in space all season. We'll try it again here on third and inches and you see what I'm talking about, dude. Chris never got plays like this at SMU for sure. And on first down, they got a split out wide. Quarterback is actually going to try to fit it into the receiver. That works out. All right. Well, this game is a little bit closer than I'd like it to be. And our blocks on the second level have honestly not been that great. Chris is going to get split out wide again here. And let me make a play, Mr. Quarterback. Let's go. Chris goes up and gets that. If he'd gotten a block, he might have cribbed it. On third and goal, I fear we just got to go back to this swing screen, man. It is so good. Chris is going to get so many touchdowns on that play this year. And that'll give us a more comfortable lead. One thing that has continued to be such a big pain is the wear and tear, bro. That should have been a big play for Chris, but he was slowed down. Still just finding it hard to break off big runs, especially once teams start stacking the box like this. It gets tough. The boy is fighting hard to get up over 100 yards today, but here we go, man. Things finally open up, and Chris is in the open field. The only thing I wish is that we could find a way to make these last two guys miss. Still absolutely beautiful, though. That does put Chris up over 100 yards a day. These Georgia Southern boys are actually bringing everybody down into the box, but Chris is still picking up first downs. At this point, it's pretty much over. We're just racking up some extra stats, unfortunately also taking some extra wear and tear, but I love that we have a coach who's willing to keep us out there. Chris finishes with 140 rush yards and two touchdowns on the day. A little bit better on the yards per carry, and Chris has proved to be an absolute threat receiving this year. And whoa, dude, if we take this offer from Fleming Sporting Goods, we get plus five acceleration. We're definitely taking that. We do continue to put all of our energy into wear and tear. Back at home, we got Old Dominion next and Chris trying to make something happen on this first play. We'll get the first down and oh my gosh, is able to break out of there. This could turn into a touchdown. We just got to outrun this fat guy and Chris is going to take this to the crib. Let's go. Definitely the biggest run of his career for sure. 74 yards on the first play from scrimmage is beautiful. Chris just feels a little bit faster today. Going to keep it cooking on the little bubble play. I am just going to be abusing this audible so much. Georgia State's offense, I thought we were going to be able to abuse more. Oh my gosh, dude, I did not mean to pitch the ball with Chris. Thankfully, that's not a turnover. But anyways, as I was saying, thought we'd be able to abuse Georgia State a little bit more. I think we're going to have the type of game I wanted to have last week this week, and Chris is proving me right, man, making that defender miss in open space. This is what we've been wanting to see from him. Another big play, he takes it to the crib again. I've been waiting for a long time for a 200-yard day. This is the day we get it, Chris. Come on, buddy. Do your thing. Nice little spin move to get some extra there. Up over 100 yards today already. There's no way we don't hit 200 today, man. Let's go get us another touchdown. I, for one, am so glad that Chris transferred. SMU is such a slog compared to this. Chris is actually the featured player in this offense, as he should be, and he's gonna get loose again, dude. Old Dominion is trash. They got no speed in this defensive secondary. And how about three touchdowns in the first half? We had just about three touchdowns all of last year, it felt like. Chris is actually getting the chance to prove himself as a potential NFL talent. He's already shown that he can win, but he's starting to show that he can put up the flashy stats. And this playbook is a big part of it, dude. Being able to get into space like this is so nice. Look at Chris zigzagging back and forth. He always had this. He just never got the chance to show it. Second and goal here. Let's punch it in. Chris is not able to get it. All right, we got to try again on third and goal, man. Old Dominion stack in the box, but this time we get it. Yes, sir. Shooting off the fireworks in the background. And not that this game has been that crazy, but I do want to say we're still playing on Heisman. Just feels so much easier. With a huge lead in this one, Chris should probably be taking it easy at this point. But I'm sorry, man. I want those 200 yards. Old Dominion setting everybody up up front. As Chris picks up the first down, gets taken out there. And with the wear and tear looking rough, he is going to stay out for the rest of the game so we don't get our 200 after all. That sucks, but this was far and away the best game of Chris's career. Rushed for 8.3 yards of carry and two touchdowns. And also had a crazy 175 and two through the air. Those are Christian McCaffrey numbers. And after that performance, Chris wins Offensive National Player of the Week. And for the first time ever, the boy is on the Heisman watch. Chris popped right up to number one after that. And now's a chance to prove it. Taking on VTech here at home. And on the first play, Chris is calling for the ball. Oh man, quarterback. Throw that a second sooner and we're taking that to the crib. Chris is sadly 
unfortunately not quite able to stay in bounds, but still a nice little way to start out this game. Unfortunately, that drive stalls out, and VTEC starting it out with a score. Offense has got to get it moving here. We're not playing Old Dominion anymore, as Chris getting stuck on his blocker there, trying to cut back, but gets a little speed boost and thankfully picks up the first. On third and nine, we're going to try our trusty bubble screen here. Chris is going to call for it, and the blocking did not quite get there. We got fourth and one. And man, we must have gone for it and not got it because we turn it over. And Virginia Tech goes right down to get a field goal. Not ideal. This is where we need a big play from Chris. That wasn't really his thing for a long time, but in this new offense, Chris is a playmaker, man. These are Heisman cuts, and somehow number seven is going to take this all the way to the crib. Let's go, man. Just like that, the guy is at 100 yards, and defense got a turnover. Chris is split out wide on third and 12, and routing up this cornerback. He is going to get into the end zone for the receiving touchdown, and Chris will hit the Heisman pose. It was looking dicey, but now we're back on top. And a chance to extend the lead here. Chris is getting it on third and four, and man, he is just running with so much more confidence than I've ever seen him. The boy is cooking, man. Let's keep it pushing. We're going to have another third down, but our quarterback just pitches it out to Chris. Easy cash. We got another one, and Chris is out wide again. Going to try to make it happen here, and once again, the quarterback is just going to throw it up to him. Chris Multasanti looking like an outside receiver at five foot nine but he is putting on a show in death valley this clemson team is suddenly looking dangerous man we'll get it down to the one here with the pass we have really come storming back as chris is just doing a great job of breaking that first contact right now coach running the ball on third down normally i like it but i don't know about this time man virginia tech able to fight back with three i feel like they might need a little bit more than that though they are really starting to heavily key in on the run making it pretty tough to keep picking up positive yards but it looks like mr coach is sticking with it man i guess he wants to run some clock and i don't know if i read that hole right it looked like the play was just blown up from the start but okay i guess we got a pick six and then virginia tech scored so interesting turn of events there and for some reason dude coach keeps wanting to run it on third down virginia tech seems to fully be expecting it at this point chris is pretty dinged up but it looks like we're gonna win this game after another turnover it's not like i'm not gonna go for one more touchdown here come on man i want to get this one on the ground chris is fighting hard but can't get it they are making it hard on him right now and on second and goal he is going to get down to the one chris has shown a little bit more power lately but on third and goal man he can't get it that'll get us out of there with a dub though 31 to 20 chris didn't do a ton on the ground outside of that big run but did once again ball out through the air love to see him split out wide like that so sitting at four and oh man we're ranked number 11 we got a tough matchup against unc this week but chris somehow picking up the first down there continuing to make plays this clemson coach just loves running the ball on third down i don't know what it is about this guy and north carolina with a two score lead this suddenly looks kind of rough but we storm back against virginia tech we can do it again and chris is looking shifty he's gonna break one today i tell you man there are a few better feelings than breaking open a run in this game it's definitely nowhere near as easy as it was on ncaa football 14 chris only averages like four yards a carry that quarter we gotta find a way to go down and get a touchdown here if we've got to cheese that screenplay a little bit then so be it as chris getting a nice outside zone call here and we'll cut it back in we head under the two minute warning absolutely need a score here and thankfully our quarterback finding a guy over the middle this quarterback is a huge upgrade from the guy at smu as chris is going to get the handoff on third and goal and gets out of there to get into the end zone finally getting his first touchdown of the day things have been tight and still 55 yards for the boy and we got a chance to put a pre-halftime drive together chris is split out wide this worked out well last time and quarterback gonna perfectly find us in stride here i didn't even have to call for that ball beautiful stuff man chris has been cooking out of the backfield but uh-oh quarterback was trying to scramble i didn't think he'd even see that call for the ball and this is gonna turn into a bad pick i guess that's my fault i just wasn't expecting bro to throw across his body like that so now we got to come out of halftime with a touchdown and chris has the biggest toll of the day almost able to get out of there at least picks up the first this is where we got to get tough though as they start to crunch toward the line makes holes a lot harder to find we're trying to counter here on third and three i don't know about this but okay the blocking is going to set up beautifully and chris will be able to get inside the 30 okay that's what i'm talking about offense chris will go in motion on third and three and the guy continues to make plays picking us up another third down just gotta punch it in here man we cannot end this drive with a field goal and going back to our little bubble chris is going to be able to outspeed a guy and walks into the end zone for the touchdown there's our heisman guy defense gets a stop as well one 
once again, we got a chance to storm back and take the lead. And on this third down coverage is tight, but Chris is able to get open out of the backfield and what a throw from our quarterback. I was worried that was going to be a pick as Chris actually going to get taken off the field. And oh man, he might be out for the rest of the game. It looks like we're going to be up to the mercy of the sim, but thankfully the offense is doing okay without Chris and the Clemson Tigers will get another big time dub. So Chris came out for like a quarter and a half, still had a nice rushing output and through the air once again, just huge plays. And after the dub, y'all, this is what I've been waiting for. We got the chance to go up to 97 speed. So next up, we're taking on the U. Chris has certainly beat these boys in dramatic fashion before, and he is going to start it out with a catch. I don't know how he caught it, and somehow he's going to sneak out of there. Chris Moltisanti is going to get another big time reception touchdown. Let's go. This kid might be a slot receiver in the NFL. He might have more receiving yards than rushing yards. I do want to have a big day on the ground. I'm still waiting on that 200 yard day and this is a very nice hole for Chris to cut into. I will say Miami definitely more keyed in on the run. They know what we want to do but Chris being so threatening in the passing game has given our offense another dimension. We keep it pushing though. We're bound to find some space eventually right? Another third and nine and another Chris reception. This time he's not able to get the first though and somehow we got zero out of that. The defense is standing up tall. The defense playing excellent so far. We've got it back on the 12 and we got to go back to it, man. They wanted us running some stupid wide receiver screen. Nah, I'm going to need my touchdown. So Miami gets a field goal, but 11 point lead is nice. And Chris is just very consistently the primary receiver out of the backfield. He's up to 100 yards receiving in the first half. And to our quarterback's credit, he's up to 200 yards passing. Once again, a definite upgrade for last year's dude. And Chris is going to get the ball in space again, get some blocks downfield. And man, Chris is doing it through the air. This might be the statement game we were looking for. We're on the verge of blowing Clemson out, and Chris is putting up a Heisman statement, dude. Touchdown reception after touchdown reception, he's going to hit the pose in front of the home fans. By the way, we have played a lot of home games this season. And man, I do want to get the run game cooking, but the pass game has just been too elite, even when Chris is not getting the ball. I know, his teammate hit a Heisman pose also, okay. We'll see if Coach just leaves Chris in the game here. I gotta say, it would be nice to get a little break for wear and tear purposes, but for stat purposes, dude, Miami's defense is just gaping. I don't know why, but these boys cannot defend the pass at all. There's no need to force the issue with the running game. Miami just does not want us to run. I guess they figured they'd take that away first. I do still want that 100-yard game. It's crazy we still haven't had a 200-yarder, by the way. 200 yards through the air has ended up being a little bit easier. But things are slowly starting to open up. It's not like Chris has been terrible on the ground. He'll get to 60 yards. If we could win the natty with SMU, man, I think this team has got a pretty good shot. Look at this stat line from our quarterback, dude. 400 100 yards, 95% completion. He might be on the Heisman watch after this. But really, it was just all Chris, dude. 243 yards, five touchdowns through the air. Are you kidding me? We are sitting at 6-0, and headed to Cal. Gotta make sure this long trip for Chris and the boys doesn't go to waste. Haven't been able to get a ton of space in the run game so far. But here on 3rd and 6, Chris will get a little bit of room out of the backfield. I like this look a little bit better. Cal has nobody over the middle, and Chris is just gonna jet up the middle for a big gain. Those are the holes we want to see from this offensive line. It looks like we're starting to wear down Cal already. We're going outside zone on third and four. Not sure how I feel about this play call and we're not quite gonna get it. I might have been able to cut that back in. But hey, looks like we got a touchdown out of that drive somehow. I'm not too worried about us winning this game, but I just want Chris to be able to get loose one time. We've seen that he can do it through the passing game. That's never really been a problem for him and he's gonna pick up the first down here. Couple of critical third down conversions for him in this game, but the running lanes continue to get shut down. Offense hasn't been perfect, but defense has been balling out and this looks like it'll be Chris's biggest play of the day. Oh man, we gotta make that guy miss downfield though. The wear and tear is looking a little bit iffy at this point in the game, but they just keep feeding Chris, man. He picks up another gigantic third down to keep this drive moving. And on second down, we're really spreading him out, going with a pass play and our quarterback is gonna throw a dime. This guy is good, man. I honestly love the way our offense is set up. We're always run first, but we can definitely pass it. And as good as our offense has been, defense has just been dominant. They're putting us in position to get another touchdown before halftime and I want Chris to get this one on the ground first and goal and he'll just power up the middle easy money not the most efficient half for Chris but still a nice little 50 yards and a little bit more room on that first down I think the fact that we've been able to pass a little bit should open things up and that's exactly what's gonna happen here that's maybe Chris's biggest run of the day and I've been waiting to bust this out man motion double pass we'll see if this works Chris is going to try to throw it but that didn't work out at all and I actually think that gave us negative rushing yards so that sucks 
flex. We're going to try to get that back here on second down. And Chris is going to make some moves and somehow gets out of there to pick up the first. Let's go. It looks like the receiving yards are once again going to exceed the rushing yards. And here on third down, Chris is going to get it again. Look at the blocking on the outside. This play is so cheese, bro. Chris will dive into the end zone for another touchdown, doing a little jig. And hey, that actually counted towards our rush yards. The wear and tear is looking rough, but coach is keeping Chris in. Got to keep picking up those Heisman stats. I'm going to need one more touchdown before we get out of here. As Chris will go up the middle again on third and goal. Just beautiful blocking. This game has turned into a blowout. And honestly, Chris probably should come out at this point. He's taking some unnecessary hits. And the wear and tear is already on high. At this point, he's at a severe risk of injury. And yeah, it looks like he will come out for the rest of this one. We just stomp Cal, man. 45-7. to seven. Chris was really good. Three rushing touchdowns. And man, it felt like he did a little bit more through the air. I guess some of those uh, little swing screens counted as rushes. Going into next week, I am going to upgrade our elusiveness a little bit. That gets our juke move up to 97. Spin move still only 83. Chris remains at the top of the Heisman watch after last week. The team is showing no signs of losing right now, but what I really want is that 200 yard rushing day. Just give it to me one time, boys. Let's go. I'm liking the hole so far, and okay, this might be Chris's first big play of the day. This Syracuse rush defense looking a little bit iffy. We are going to have a little third and six here, but Chris will go in motion and just wide open out of the backfield. That's what the run opens up, and Chris Moltisanti will get his first touchdown of the day. This defense might be trash. I want to see us bust open another big one and look at Chris putting on the stiff arm. He showed some power this year. Power's the one thing I still haven't really been able to upgrade at all, and it looks like our quarterback threw a pick on the other side of the field. But defense is so solid. Syracuse is only able to turn that into three, and we're gonna keep it moving on offense. These halfback motion plays are actually so busted when you're player locked. Syracuse just does not look like they can defend that. Now we'll go to a little outside zone, but they're all over this. I have yet to find a really good outside run in this game, to be honest. Outside of the obvious jet touch pass. Got third and eight, and we're running it. We almost had a hole there, but dude did a nice job of fighting through his block. And somehow we come away from that drive with nothing. Need another pop play here, and Chris trying to provide it by cutting back inside. There we go. Shocked that we've only scored seven points in three drives, the way Syracuse defense looked to start it out. And coach wants to run it again on third down, but this time we're gonna make it work. Yes, sir. And here we got a pistol stretch. Let's see how this goes. Chris is going to get to the outside and hit a shifty little juke move. We upgraded that shiftiness this this week and it is paying off. Chris will get down to the one. Oh, we really can't get in there, huh? Thankfully, we have a coach who will actually leave us on the field here, but oh man, we get stood up on second and goal. We better get a touchdown out of this. Come on, man. Third and goal and Chris trying to fight for it again. Are we really going to have to kick a field goal? That's why we got to get into the end zone on that. Oh, never mind. I guess we went for it because we got seven points and it looks like Cuse is sending the dogs here on third down. This might be tough to get out of, but Chris slips through a tackle and this is going to be another huge rushing play for him. Chris Moore Moltisanti will take this to the crib. He's finally having his big day on the ground. Let's go. And that puts him over 220 yards just on the half. We might just have a 300-yard day in the books. And don't forget, we're doing it out of the backfield too. Look at Chris weaving in and out of traffic for the first down. Let me get it again here on second down up the middle. I don't know how you defend everything this offense can do, and Chris almost able to juke out of there. Juke move is nice. We gotta start using it more, but our stupid quarterback is gonna throw a pick. I shouldn't call him stupid, bro. He's been pretty good this year. Despite the huge half from Chris, Cuse is keeping this thing kind of close. But look at the stats for our guy. He's got 100 through the air too. Let's keep him moving, boys. We got the rock coming out of halftime, and Chris is showing some more confidence in that juke move now. Once we get some abilities on this boy, it is truly going to be over. On third and three, we're running for it again, but this time Chris can't get up out of there. Thankfully, defense stands up tall to get a turnover, but offense has got to make it happen on this drive, and Chris has a beautiful hold of the right side, has to make one man miss but can't quite do it see i got a little bit too juke move happy there i think we're able to get that guy if we just use the right stick all good just gotta punch it in but chris is so tired at this point we'll find a way man on third down chris is going to get it out of the backfield and almost finds a way to get it into the end zone all right first and goal boys let's punch it in we're just going up the middle easy cash believe that's four rushing touchdowns on the day for chris hit that heisman post buddy and that gives us a comfortable lead chris is really dinged up but still running hard we're gonna have to use all of our energy on wear and tear again, but it was worth it for this game. This might have locked down Chris's Heisman hopes. Look at that, bro. 38 carries on the day. We stay undefeated at Syracuse pretty easily. By far the best game of Chris's career. Got less efficient as the game went on for sure, but also had 130 yards through the air. He was this entire offense today. That one will definitely 
earn us National Player of the Week. After starting out 8-0, we're up to number 3 in the rankings. I'm surprised we're not higher, but Oregon and Georgia look pretty good too. We are back at home against Georgia Tech this week and trying to bust it open on the first play. Chris is going to get up out of there, breaking a tackle and hitting a spin for some extra. After last week, he is playing with extreme confidence and looks fully healthy, man. Faster than he has been in his career. Running out of the pistol on second down here. And we're just hitting that hole so much faster right now. Chance to punch it in here on the goal line and blocking holds up. Chris gets in and we get on top in front of the home fans. Yes, sir. I'm expecting some more big numbers in this one. Chris seems ready to break a big one off at any second and trying to do it here. He just has to make one guy miss, but can't quite. Oh, man. All good. Let's get another touchdown here. Oh, man. Georgia Tech stack in the box. Might be tough to make this one happen. Chris will try to do it out of the backfield on third and goal and these linebackers simply cannot hang with him. Another easy one for our guy. And 50 rushing yards in the first quarter, not bad at all. Let's keep adding to those numbers. Look at the quick cuts from Chris. He has improved his agility so much. Just gotta try to keep avoiding the big hits in this game, but it looks like he is gonna get popped here. The wear and tear has been Chris's biggest enemy throughout his entire career, apart from his coaches at SMU. Man, I'm loving this toss play here. Looks like this is gonna set up well. Our blocker kinda got pushed to the outside. We're still gonna get a first, but it could have been so much more. We'll keep it pushing here with an RPO. Chris juking his way for five yards. He's up to 100 on the day. It has been a quick, quiet 100 for sure. And a hole up the middle here. Offensive line has just been gashing these dudes. We will have a third and long here, but coach is just running it. I do kind of wish we'd open it up on that play. And the fans do not seem happy about it at all. But Georgia Tech not seeming too threatening right now. They were able to get a touchdown there, but look at Chris coming up with a catch as a wide out. If the quarterback had another second, that might have been a touchdown. And this play looks like it should be a touchdown. I don't know what Georgia Tech was doing on defense, but that is easy cash. The Clemson offense is going crazy at this point in the season. Chris has obviously been the biggest part of it. He's really opened up the passing game and getting it going here. He'll try to tiptoe down the sidelines, gets us out to midfield. We haven't been able to crack off a big rush in a minute. Georgia Tech's kind of been selling out for it. And look at this pass from our quarterback, man. That should be a catch. Dude drops it. Love to see him making that throw though. And that gives us more space in the running game for sure. Anytime the other team has to go too high safeties, Chris's eyes light up. It's so much harder to run with a bunch of dudes condensed on the line, but he's made a living out of it. One thing that Chris has always done really well is just take what the defense gives him. He's thankfully just naturally had much more opportunities for big plays this year. And I think a big part of it is this passing offense. The way things are set up, we just have a perfect balance and the running game leaves receivers just wide open. Wear and tear is once again slowing us down a little bit. Not sure how I feel about wear and tear for the running back career mode, man. It definitely makes things more balanced, but at the same time, I'm just trying to run to my heart's content. To Chris's credit, he's been staying on the field through the wear and tear and has done a nice job recovering in his time off. Let's go get one more here, fellas. Second and goal, and we are right up the middle. Chris hasn't had as many crazy big plays, but he has done his thing today for sure. And even up 30 points, coach is leaving him out there. He wants to see his star get the numbers, even though he's dog tired. And we're still just passing the ball out here. We must really have something against Georgia Tech. Chris is up over 40 rushes today. I honestly don't know what our coach is doing. And I will say it's definitely driving down the yards per carry average a little bit. Chris is about ready to fall over, but look at him, man. Still leaping over blockers. Looks like he's finally going to come out. We beat the brakes off of Georgia Tech as Chris had 43 rushes for 210 yards and two touchdowns. He is getting 50 plus touches a game at this point. Some bad news. We did not have enough energy to fully recover this week, but we are going to be able to upgrade to 99 elusiveness. That puts us at 99 juke move and 91 spin. And for this game, we're headed on the road, a rivalry game at Florida State. With the wear and tear he has coming into this game, Chris is essentially 79 speed, and he is going to sit out for a lot of this first half, dude. The undefeated season is in jeopardy, but Chris has a hole here. If he was healthy, this might be a crib call. Instead, it's just going to be a moderate gain. Coach is looking really stupid for those 43 carries he gave us last week. Look at our quarterback scooting out of the pocket and getting the first. Now, I'm sorry, but I just do not like the run on third and nine. Chris is not equipped to make that happen right now. Trailing late in the third quarter, our quarterback needs to make a play, but he's going to throw a pick. Yeah, this might just be the one we drop, man. Our offense is very obviously crippled. We're going to need some miracle big plays here, and why are we not throwing it Chris's way? It's going to be a critical fourth and three, and our quarterback just dumps it off. Thankfully, the wide receiver is going to make it happen, and okay, this is exactly what we needed. He gets it to the 42. Just got to find a way to gut it out, but on first down, our quarterback's going to fumble. Chris trying to 
pick it up and thankfully dude recovered his own fumble but on second down we're running the ball and florida state was ready for it we're gonna have to try to convert a fourth and incredibly long and our quarterback goes to the seam somehow number 11 is gonna catch this and look at him stiff arming a guy what a clutch play that's big time boys gotta go ahead and punch this thing in at the very least we'll at least get a field goal now and our quarterback going to the end zone that was risky our receiver had it but drops it and i'm worried chris could come out for the rest of this game let's see what happens nope he's in money drive for this offense right here chris is not going to be able to do it all this time around on third and seven coaches got him split out wide and he's still able to beat his man but not enough air under that ball from our quarterback all right man fourth down let's see what we've got chris is almost able to get open couldn't get off the line and we're going to turn it over it looks like florida state is going to get us but okay our quarterback going to throw a bomb here and this is the big play that we needed before too bad it comes when we have no timeouts and fsu just kills the clock we each take our first loss of the season as chris was just not in the game for a lot of the time only had six carries that's a rough one for sure despite that game though chris still remains atop the heisman watch and with two games left in the regular season he's got 1350 yards i mean these aren't like crazy rushing numbers i wouldn't say but he's got over a thousand yards and 17 touchdowns receiving i'm honestly surprised we dropped all the way to number 11 in the rankings after that loss and our quarterback is throwing up an absolute bomb to chris here we're matched up against a linebacker all he's got to do is get under that and chris multasanti taking it to the house on the opening drive that is a pretty good way to crack it open and trying to keep it moving here chris picking up a nice chunk on the ground on first down got a little slip screen called here on third and 13 and quarterback's gonna throw off his back foot sadly chris isn't able to turn this into anything but we head to the end of the first looking solid trying to get a big run here chris has it on the outside and he might have a shot he has to find a way to make this guy miss and he does the left stick is elite and at this point in his career nobody has the speed to match chris he is gonna take this all the way to the crib let's go making up for not playing in his last game chris has got 120 yards already we'll keep it moving with the bubble here i continue to love this play dearly and bro i do want to make the double pass happen so bad we're gonna try to make it work but yeah duke was not fooled that might have to be the last time we run that one lost a ton of rushing yards trying to do that for no reason but we're still averaging 12 yards a pop on the day even with duke sending guys into the backfield like that we'll see what we get here on a third and one looks like duke is trying to bring guys down to blitz but chris making everyone miss and getting some extra love what we're seeing from the running game today but definitely not enough to pick up that third and ten all good though we got a crisp 24 point lead and after a turnover from defense our quarterback will make that 31 there's just no way there's 10 teams in the country better than this clemson squad and man i loved that play call dude lurked it up on the end though that's one i want to see pop up more on the play call screen for sure and this is another one where we've got a big lead chris is just not coming out of the game though we're pounding the rock with him and he's up to 180 today doesn't really seem like coach has learned his lesson with the wear and tear stuff but it is leading to more stats for chris he'll get an easy reception touchdown here defense just vanished while we're here we might as well try to get 200 rushing yards on the day not sure exactly what we're at right now but here on first down i think this is going to give it to chris even tired he's showing the speed getting around the edge and finding the end zone again coach is indeed leaving a man up 41 in the third quarter i guess this man has never heard of subbing in the second team but chris gonna get another nice chunk run i think we could bust another one off here i like this outside stretch just need that block on the edge to hold and man if chris was fresh that's going to the crib as it is it's just a first down i'm surprised that duke is not keying in on the running game more their running defense might just be that bad our offensive line is just blowing these guys off the ball right now we have never gotten this good of a push in chris's career and i do want to once again show the difficulty on fourth and one coach actually called an outside zone but this time we're gonna cut it back in and get the touchdown yes sir 55 to 7 and we're still in what is going on coach is still just hucking the ball around with the first team dude all right i mean i don't really get it but i guess we'll keep on running and chris continuing to find holes to pick up these first downs chris is well over 300 yards today and this is going to be his 40th carry putting him at 330 i will say dude these are starting to look kind of like devin callier numbers it looks like chris will finally get taken off after this first down after just taking a goddamn beating it looks like but a nice little 55 to 7 blowout win on duke and the stats were very nice 340 on the ground 8.3 average despite 40 carries is crazy and chris had 130 through the air most of it was just on that one touchdown pass another national offensive player of the week after that well all the rushing yards the skill points are just pouring in 
in. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade our juke move. Chris still atop this Heisman watch. Last game of the season is a night game against South Carolina. We'll see what Chris can do in the rivalry game, and he's gonna get loose on the first play. This should be a huge game, but man, there's a flag on the play. Come on. And after our quarterback throws a pick, South Carolina able to take a seven point lead. This is not a game we can lose, man. And Elwood would definitely jeopardize the playoff hopes, but Chris is all alone here. I don't know what kind of defense they were running, but nobody covered him out of the backfield. That play continues to just be cash. South Carolina does answer with a field goal. Offense has got to keep it moving here. Chris has definitely not been seeing amazing holes in the run game so far, and we're just running it right up the middle on third down. I don't know why our coach loves to do this so much. We got to get it together here. I'm desperately trying to call for the ball in this play, but quarterback just chucks it up into double coverage and throws a pick. Not good. Somehow we're down 17 to South Carolina. This becomes maybe a season defining drive. Thankfully, our quarterback's going to find a guy over the middle. He's got two picks, so nice to see him get going. And on first and 10, we're running five wide. I'm a little bit worried, and dude is just going to throw it right to a defender. I promise I was not calling for the ball there. The one thing we could not do is turn the ball over. Thankfully, we do have a chance to score before halftime, and our quarterback making a nice throw there. With time taken under 20 seconds chris is gonna go up the middle and finds the first down i think we've got one play here whatever happens our quarterback just cannot take a sack we at least need three points on this play and he's just gonna throw it out of bounds but all things considered we're still in it just need to find a way to get a touchdown on this drive we kind of went away from the run game in that second quarter there but i love the speed option here and our quarterback is gonna be able to pitch that out looked a little bit dicey and chris will have his biggest gain of the day on the ground there we go man now offense has got something cooking we got to go back to our money play, but South Carolina jumps it. Oh no. That is the first time a team has got us on that all year, and this is going to go back to the crib for a pick six. Yeah, we might be in trouble, boys. I'm not sure that I'm seeing an easy escape route in this one. And coach continuing to call these third down runs. This time, it's going to work out. We've got to lane up the middle, but we got to move faster than this. Chris has not been able to break off the big play yet today, trying to do it here and almost picks up the first down. As now the running game is starting to open open up, but that's just because South Carolina is keeping everything in front of them. We'll keep it pushing here, going up the middle, and I mean, as long as we're getting chunks, this is fine. I would like a quick strike play here, and oh man, that was almost another pick from our quarterback. Chris was wide open. I am going to go back to the swing screen play, but number 20 is just doing a beautiful job of fighting through those blocks. And on fourth and six, Chris is coming off the field. I don't know why we're taking three there. We head to the fourth down by 18, and Chris, trying to make it happy here on the flat route, is going to get down the sideline take this to the crib buddy oh man we couldn't quite walk out of that last tackle all right still nice though just got to punch it in on first and goal and we should be open on the wheel chris will get in again finally dude and okay defense gets a quick stop this might not be over yet we're just gonna have to find a way to score quick three minutes left on the clock here we need a quick play and chris trying to provide that is gonna get up the seam damn man i should have caught and run that i think we honestly could have taken that to the house and going five wide here our quarterback's gonna chuck it up and we got a first and goal boys we might I have a shot. I'm going to go back to this play to try to punch it in. Our quarterback threw the other way, and okay, this gets us down to the two. We are going to run for it on third and goal. Need to go get this, and Chris does. We're within one score just like that. This is suddenly a huge two-point conversion, and our quarterback dumps it to the flat. Dude will be able to get in. All right, defense, one stop, boys. Holy crap, we actually have a shot to take the lead on this drive. I can't believe we're in this position, and Chris, trying to make it happen himself, will get out to the 50 on the flat route. I thought we were dead in the water, but with a minute left, our quarterback is going to throw a pick. Dude, dude, how do we do that there? Come on. That is just unbelievable. And that is going to do it. Our quarterback absolutely sells the bag. I think he had four picks. Chris did his best to keep the boys in it despite a slow start. Had 180 receiving yards and two touchdowns, but not enough. Despite the loss, Chris wins National Offensive Player of the Week. And we do make the ACC championship at number 14. This is going to decide whether we get to the playoffs. And by the way, the SMU team that won the national title last year is sitting at three and nine. If that doesn't show Chris's value, I don't know what does. And uh oh, looks like we did very bad on the exams. Chris's GPA not looking so hot at this point. Classic ACC championship game. We'll see what Chris can do against Miami. And already a ton of room here on this first play. Man, felt like we could have turned that into more. I maybe should have tried to get a little bit shiftier there as our offensive lines push just looking beautiful so far this is what we like to see after 
starting off last week rough, this offense needs a bounce back. Chris is looking to provide that here, but try not a little cross screen. This ball go right through his hands in the rain. And coach is doing that thing where we run the ball on third and eight, nothing doing for our boy. So we only get three on the first drive, but defense standing up tall to start things out. Right now, the rushing stats are looking nice for Chris. He's had beautiful lanes to run through on pace for over 200 yards today. It's all about the wear and tear though. These runs up the middle do lead him to take big hits and see just like that, he's in the yellow, not what we want. And surprisingly, coach is gonna take Chris out for a ton of this first half all the way into the third quarter. What are we doing? So I guess Chris can run the ball 40 times against Duke, but in the ACC championship game, he comes off. Now we gotta find a way to bounce back. We'll get this little swing screen going and Chris has a wall of five guys in front of him. I tried to make all of them miss with the spin move. And I can't believe we only have three points at this point in the game. Offense has got to get it together. Both times this season where Chris has come off, they've been useless. And now we got to try to pick up a huge third and two. I don't like how this sets up and Chris gets chopped down from behind. Maybe could have gotten upfield a little bit quicker there. But hey, it looks like we went for fourth down and got it. So this drive will keep moving and Chris still showing a burst despite the wear and tear. Big time third and four. We're running the ball again. And okay, I like the right side of the field. Number 55 slow ass can't get in front of us, but we still pick up the first down. Despite the deficit, we really are going run heavy and it's been working out pretty well. Chris is going to cut ahead here and will nearly take this to the end zone. It'll be a 30 yard gain to get us down to the four. Got to finish off this drive here though. And thankfully the blocking on the left side is going to be beautiful. We get up in there. Tie ball game just like that. We established the run beautifully, which should open up the passing game. But once again, the wear and tear looking rough for Chris. Even coming off the field for the second quarter, he's got 20 carries. And this is a big third and four. Got to find a way as it looks like we have a hole. Chris is not quite able to punch through it. And man, we better be going for this from the 46. Looks like we didn't, but defense gets another stop. This one is down to the wire. I was hoping we get something out of our passing game, but it looks like it's just going to be the run. And oh man, I hesitated to hit that hole. That should have 1000% been a first down. But this defense just does not crack right now. With two minutes left, we just got to find a way to get three. Got it at the 44. Can't actually afford to run the ball here, but Miami's DBs crash in. And we're going stretch on third and one. Ooh, man, I don't know. Need beautiful blocking to the left side. And Chris is too tired. Can't get around the edge. We're up to the mercy of the sim here. Chris's wear and tear is looking terrible. And okay, we picked up the first down. Time is running down. And with Chris tired, we got to find a way to win this in regulation. Our quarterback's going to take off. Slide, buddy. Oh, man. I just knew he was going to fumble there. Speaking of fumbles, Chris has got to protect the ball on this drive. We want to get a touchdown, but I'm going to hold a RB and cover this thing up. Miami has a lot of dudes on the line. This is going to make it third and nine. So I think we run some clock here and give our boys enough time to kick the field goal. And this is actually going to be a big hole. Chris will fight for the first down. It looks like coach is taking him off though. Okay, nothing silly here. Just kick the field goal. Win Bro, no. How did we not? What happened? What happened? We didn't kick the field goal. We went to overtime and Chris just wasn't on the field. We lose to Miami. That's going to be how our season ends. Oh my God. Unbelievable, bro. Did our kicker miss the kick or what happened? Yeah, it looks like he did, dude, from like 27 yards away. He's 80 overall. He shouldn't be missing that. Damn, man. Chris played his heart out 150 yards, 50 through the air, despite the fact that he wasn't on the field for half of the game for some reason. Just terribly mismanaged. Well, we're going to see if Chris won the Heisman here. He does win player of the year and Chris Moltisanti does win the Heisman trophy. I mean, that's a pretty good consolation prize. Also, of course, winning running back of the year. First team all ACC. First team all American, of course. And man, after all of that, we're playing in the goddamn in Birmingham Bowl. Oh, hey, I guess Chris has graduated, so we don't have to worry about uh, this anymore. Man, we got teams like 10 and 3 Arizona in here, 9 and 3 Tennessee, 11 and 2 North Texas. How are we not in the mix? My goal is to blow Marshall off the face of the earth today. And they actually started it out with a touchdown, but Chris is getting loose already. We see the improved juke move there as he gets out to the 50. And on second and nine, he's got a little draw play. This hasn't worked out very well for us this season, but Chris finds a way to turn it into a first. Marshall is definitely 1000% keying in on the run and Chris is going to fumble on this play. I'm going to be honest. I think that's his first fumble of the season. I cannot remember another one. Boys, there's no way we lose to Marshall, right? I know they're number 19, but come on. Against my better judgment, I'm going to try this again. I want the double pass. Let's huck it up with Chris and Marshall just covered that beautifully. I guess it's not that good of a trick play. Mark my words though. One of these days, Chris Moltisanti is going to have a passing touchdown and does a nice job to get the first down there, but gets chopped down on first down for a big loss. It's third down. Let's find a way. They're 
just sending a guy right into our gap, but Chris able to make a miss with some nifty running. Those are the small plays that go mostly unnoticed in the stat sheet, but they're the plays that Chris has been making all year. That's why he truly deserved to win the Heisman Trophy. He wasn't just trying to bust everything outside all year. He's been patient and taken what the defense has given him, and it has paid off. It's the reason SMU won the national title last year. Just gotta punch it in here. I love the hole up the middle on the little power play. That's a nice run play. Offense has been moving slower than expected, but we should be able to get in here. Chris not quite able to power down. And we'll get the handoff on second and goal, but can't quite get in. Tell me we're not about to get hit with the goal line stop. Okay, this time we do get in. Thank you very much. Chris is only averaging like three yards a pop in this one, though. Was hoping for a little bit more out of the boy against a lesser opponent, but getting it cooking through the passing game here. I am excited to check Chris's uh, receiving stats this season, because I think he's got to be near 2,000 yards. And now we've got a good chance to take the lead, but I don't know what's been up with our quarterback lately. He's been very pick happy, and it looks like we're going to head to halftime tied. It's a good thing our defense has been playing well. Offense hasn't been able to do a whole lot of anything, but our quarterback going to redeem himself here, man. Hits our wide receiver in stride, and do will take that to the crib. Let's go. Marshall has put up a good fight, but slowly but surely we're taking control of this game. Their offense hasn't been able to do anything since that first drive, and here we're trying to go to the air. This gets swatted away, and somehow Chris is going to catch that. What a play. Chris is a running back with a wide receiver skill set, but on third down, our quarterback not patient throws it right to a defender. We're able to get three though, and with the way our defense is playing, we should be a-okay. Chris has had trouble finding room in the running game, gets loose there though, and Marshall should be starting to get worn down a little bit at this point. We've just been jamming it down their throats. Got a third and two, and Chris trying to get open out of the backfield. What is our quarterback doing, man? He was like really good early in the season. Lately though, he's just been forcing throws left and right, and that'll allow Marshall to stay in this game. I have no interest in losing this one, boys. Let's please go get it done. Chris is, as usual, worn down at this point in the game. Oh man, just a whiff on the block there. We're running for it on third and nine, and Marshall just 100% knew that was coming. Clemson fans are looking a little bit nervous. We cling to a seven-point lead with three minutes left. As defense has continued to clutch up, I think we got a field goal in us this drive, boys. Come on. Going halfback sweep here, though, and we're out of gas. Pick up this third and three, and we should be okay. And nobody picked up Chris out of the backfield. Instead, our quarterback just goes to the crosser, and that'll work just fine. Now we're definitely in field goal range. But I should point out, you just never know with this kicker, apparently. Hopefully, we can just get into the end zone instead, and our quarterback actually is going to do it on the read option. That'll put Marshall to sleep. Gotta give credit to Marshall. They really were able to slow Chris down in this game. One of the first teams this year to do so. But in the end, we still get the dub. Chris did not have a lot of room on the ground today. Still had 94 yards in a tutty. And I mean, he did add 156 through the air. So that brings an end to the season, fellas. We did get over 2,000 yards this year, which was very satisfying. 18 touchdowns and only two fumbles. And to add to that, 1,600 through the air and 21 touchdowns. That's what really won us the Heisman. Chris was the leading receiver in the country, as well as the leading rusher. That's crazy. And next year, this is the goal, man. We were 600 yards short of Barry Sanders' rushing record. If we make the playoffs, we can hit that. So I'll see y'all in the next episode to get that done. Peace.